This is Shality Pfeiffer and I'm a software engineer at AWS. I'm going to show you how to use Amazon CloudWatch's Network Flow Monitor to get visibility into network performance for your workloads running on AWS. I have deployed Network Flow Monitor agents on our Amazon EKS nodes across my workload spanning multiple availability zones. Let me show you how to access the workload insights in Network Flow Monitor. This gives us a view into the network metrics for our workloads, including retransmissions, retransmission timeouts, round trip times, and overall network health. Looking at the within the AZ tab, I can see that flows originating or terminating in AZ2 are experiencing increased retransmissions and retransmission timeouts, while traffic in other AZs is not impaired. This suggests a potential network issue specific to that availability zone. To investigate further, I'll create a monitor that includes all flows in AZ2 that interact with other resources in the same region. Within a few minutes, I start seeing detailed TCP metrics for the applications I'm interested in. The network health indicator is also reporting an unhealthy status for this AZ. With this visibility, I can now leverage the zonal shift capabilities of Amazon EKS to temporarily move the impacted workloads away from the unhealthy AZ2 and towards the other healthy availability zones in the region. This helps mitigate the customer impact while I work to resolve the underlying network issue. To monitor for similar issues in the future, I'll identify select EKS clusters across availability zones and deploy additional network flow monitor agents. I'll also configure alarms and notifications in CloudWatch for key network metrics so I can get faster detection and response to any network problems. Network Flow Monitor's deep visibility and correlation capabilities have been really helpful in quickly identifying and resolving network performance issues, minimizing customer impact and allowing my team to focus on innovation.